Do you ever feel like you're so overwhelmed with your home or it's so out of control that you don't even know where to start to get things back in order when it's been a mess for a really long time and you don't even know where to begin getting it clean? Hi, everybody. I'm Katie Berry. I'm a cleaning expert. I'm an author and a blogger. And for 12 years, I've been helping millions of people around the world get their homes under control. Today, we'll start talking about where to begin cleaning first what to clean next, and what you really need to leave until the end. Stick around to the end of the video because I'm also going to share with you a trick that will help you keep it under control so that it never gets overwhelming again. I get a lot of emails from people who feel their homes are just a mess. It's chaotic. It's cluttered. Asking sometimes, am I about to become a hoarder? Does everybody else know something that I don't? What's the trick? And I want to tell you now, you're not alone. If that describes the situation that you're in, you are not alone. It happens to all of us. It happened to me when my husband passed away. Life or your health or your mental health just get to the point where it's, it's overwhelming and you just can't do anything more than get through the day. And at that point, your home really should take a backseat to taking care of yourself first. When it's time to turn that around, you'll know you're ready. And when you're ready, here's how to start. Number one, what to clean first. Now, most people start going with things that people might judge them for, etc. Don't do that. The place to start cleaning first is the place where you like to sit and relax. It's like what they tell you on the airplane. Put on your own oxygen mask before you help anyone else. When you start with the place where you like to relax, you have something to look forward to at the end of the day. But... If you leave your favorite spot sitting and still messy, then at the end of the day, you'll look around and you'll think, oh, I didn't accomplish anything. I wasted a day. And that can set you back on the track of, well, why should I even bother? So start with a place where you like to relax and unwind. For some people, that might be the bathtub with a glass of wine. Other people enjoy cooking. Me, I personally like to sit at the end of the day with my dog on the sofa, reading a book in front of the fireplace. So that's where I start. Where you start needs to be the place that you want to unwind and look around and see that you've accomplished something. Now, as for what to clean next, you go next to the common rooms. And by that, I do not mean the rooms that are unsuitable for entertaining royalty. Common rooms are rooms that everybody in your family uses. Okay, so these are going to be things like the kitchen, the family room, the living room, the rec room if you have it, whatever place that everybody in the family uses. And there's going to be more than one. So in my home, we have a living room. That's where I hang out. That's my happy spot. And then we also have a family room where everybody sits and watches TV. There's a bathroom off of that everybody uses while we're watching TV. And of course, there's a kitchen. Your home, they may be the same rooms. They may be different. Maybe you have a rec room or a game room. Or maybe you're in a smaller apartment where everybody has that one room where they hang out and it doubles as the dining room and the lounge and the homework spot. If you have more than one common room, start with the one that bothers you most. Not the one other people are going to see, the one that bothers you most, so that you see the biggest impact and you feel the greatest reward. Now, for what to clean last, what works for me is to leave the kids' rooms, the youngest kids' rooms to the end, because as I go through everything else in the house, to, I'm picking up their toys, I'm picking up their socks, I'm picking up their shoes, and I'm just checking them into their room. If I've already cleaned that room, I can't just check on this or I'm just messing it up. And I know they're going to go on. They're going to mess things up. So what you want to do is leave the little kids' rooms to the very end. Check things in there as you find them. And then at the end, go through and do the kids' rooms. And by all means, if the children are old enough to help, get them to help. There's a free table cleaning checklist for kids' rooms. And in fact, every room in your home. On my website, housewifehowtoons.com. There's a link down in the description. Check it out. Get it. It's free. Now here's that bonus Ooh. tip that I promised you. And it's simply this. Go for checkups. And I don't mean at the dentist. Oh, nobody wants to do that. What I mean is check up on your house every day, starting in the exact same order that we just went through it. Start with a place where you like to relax and unwind. Then go check on all your common areas. And then check the bedrooms and the private bathrooms. And by doing this, you get a chance to discover any messes before they get out of control. 
pick things up, you can put things away, but the kids are leaving things out. Well, you can decide what to do about those. In my home, we always put them in something called toy jail, which means you had to do chores to bring your stuff back. And they learned pretty quickly not to leave things sitting around the house. I got some great help out of it when they did that. So every day, check up on the rooms that you've already done. And it's just a 15, 20 minute loop through your home, picking things up, putting them away, wipe up any spills you see on tables, and run a vacuum on the high traffic areas. And by that, I mean places in front of the sofa, between the door and the bed, just that. Then your home is going to look tidy and it's going to stay picked up all the time. So when it is cleaning day, you have a lot less that you have to do. It never really feels out of control again. Okay, if you learned anything in this video, I want you to do me a favor. Hit subscribe because I've got more content coming out. Next week, I'm going to talk about what to do with your clutter, where to donate it, and what to throw away. Until then, happy cleaning. What are you saying? Is anybody having a light cleaning?